can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Every corner back with me, got a pick on him. Every Glock in it big, got a dick on it. How you watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on the roll and no tick on it. They ain't tell you about rule, I got a kick on me. I just pray that my dog don't switch on me. What's going on with y'all? Reset TV It's gravitating in the way. Listen, man, we're about to talk about <laughs> Gilbert Arenas discussing his ex, Laura Govan, the sister of Gloria Govan. And man, Gilbert never ceased to amaze me, y'all. Uh, I want to say a lot, but look, real quick, if you're new to the channel, tap in, tap in and subscribe. Go ahead and do that for your boy trying to break the algorithm and get back in it. But uh, before I go off with my train of thoughts, let's go ahead and hear the Breakfast Club chiming in on this entire matter. Anyway, <laughs> Gilbert Arenas uh, was sued by his ex, Laura Govan, over a fake ring. So he sat down with Vlad and he spoke on why his ex, um, why he gave his ex a fake engagement ring from the jump. When the proposal happened, it was like, I think around my birthday, we got in a fight eight days later and broke up. And when we broke up, I'm like, that was a f waste of money. I want my ring back. So I was like, how do I get my ring back? I just got to get her back. But when she comes back, I'm going to have a fake one and I can switch it at any time. And then that's what I did. Have the <laughs> fake one created and started, hey, missed you. Come on back and do all that stuff. And then played house. And then years later, I eventually switched it, put that one in the safety deposit. And then she just had the fake one. Years Yo. later. Hey, yeah, and you played house for years. Wow. That is crazy. I thought he said it was a few months. Like, no, he, he, he just no, said no. years later. Oh. No, he said he played house up. for years later. Okay. Yeah, he started pretending like mm -hmm. for four or five months. So he had the fake ring made. Okay. Or whatever, right? And the fake ring was ten thousand dollars, but the original ring, the real ring that he said, mm -hmm. it was between three hundred ninety-five thousand and four hundred five and four hundred thousand. Mm. So I don't know. And they broke up eight days later after he proposed to her with the $500,000 ring. He just didn't want her to have it because Gil Gilbert got bread. Yeah, Gilbert, I, I know. I, I was in a club. He spent 100000 on bottles. Jesus. He gave every... It was to the point where bottles were just rolling on the floor unopened at the end of the night. He just... Mm. It, was, it was crazy, but... Yeah, yeah, I do remember. You know, I do know he's a former NBA player. Right, but where, what fake... What are talking about? But what fake ring is $10,000? I don't think it was fake. I just think it was a lower grade of like carrots or diamonds or whatever what fake ring is ten thousand dollars now that was the breakfast club speaking on this issue and they weren't done just yet because basically just with the mess breaks down or rather let gilbert's breaks down on the aftermath of his ex fiance finding out the ring was fake <laughs> let's check this out and i'll be back with the commentary now street mm, he also spoke about when she found out the ring was fake when did she find out that the ring was fake? I think once we broke up and it was all said and done and, and she started like really going at me in the media and then I won like custody. And then from there, I guess one of her friends was basically telling her that you need full custody. So you need to, you know, he needs to be a danger. Mm. He needs to do this so you can put a restraining order on him. So that's when the fight started happening. And then once that started happening and then um, be being a troll that I am, I put, I took a picture, put the ring on it. And oh, it you had the original ring. Yeah, I had the original ring and you, posted it online. You posted it online. Yeah. Legend, legend. Mm -hmm. crazy. Dropping the clues bomb for the <laughs> legendary Gilbert <laughs> Arenas. Now you could check out that episode and not of the Breakfast Club, but of Gilbert Arenas explaining about the four hundred thousand dollar ring being fake. He's on Vlad TV. Matter of fact, Vlad just dropped this video yesterday, but. Look, Gilbert basically breaks it down and says, hey, I got homegirl the ring. It was about 400K. We broke up eight days later. Then they made up because Gilbert had a plan of, you know, playing it cool with the girl. Hopefully everything was settled down and he could replace the ring, which he did. Now, I'm not going to hold you. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard. As a matter of fact, I think that that is very, very smart. A lot of people put a lot of efforts and focus on the aesthetics of a marriage meaning the wedding the honeymoon the ring and everything that comes with it and i used to hear this saying you know they would say it's not the wedding for the man the wedding is for the woman and it's like whatever but i never see a focus or rather in an emotional investment emotional commitment on the actual marriage and look hey Judging by how Gil seemingly now, I don't know what it is personally, but seemingly Gilbert seems like he's living his best life. 
His daughter is about to go into college as one of the top recruits in the nation. His son, the same as well. Elijah Arenas, that is. Gilbert's doing his best thing. I see him every now and then with uh, the French chick, Melly. You know, he, he looked like he's living his life. Uh, the Govan sisters, look. Between Gloria and Laura, both whom dated Matt Barnes and Gilbert, those sisters seem to have a lot going on. Gilbert, maybe, you know, you had that big contract and you felt like you wanted to drop that big bag on the ring. But for me, it's never been about the ring. But, you know, hey, I'm a broke man. So, you know, to each his own, you know, don't take what I say like it's the all high mighty word because end of the day i ain't got it like that but god is my witness there's no way i could spend 400 dollars on a ring no matter what amount of money i have i'm sorry i can't do it personally shout out to gilbert shout out to all the guys out there that never made it about trying to impress the chick versus knowing she gonna be with you for the long haul look this was legendary to me <laughs> It's like Gilbert Arenas. It was a one thing with the Drea situation, then a big old pause moment with Saucy Santana. I mean, you never know what you're going to get with Gil. You feel me? He's in entertaining. I mean, hey, I definitely chuckled up. Hopefully, y'all could feel the same way. And if not, my bad. But I don't think no woman is worth $400,000 on a ring. And we haven't really auditioned for the marriage yet. I'm going to holler at y'all. This was Gravitating the Way. Make sure y'all tap in. Make sure you subscribe. And trust me, we're about to drop more lives. I'm going to holler at you.